Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Travel Eat Repeat. Today we will be making these amazing kurkuri bhindi or lady fingers but we won't be deep frying them. We will be baking them or air frying them in halogen oven or air fry or you can bake them in your normal oven. These are crispy, crunchy and light as air. So let's begin. So I'm gonna start with some lady fingers or bhindi. And what we have to do is we have to cut the top off and the bottom and we have to slice it from the center so it will be cut into two halves just like that I'm gonna cut all of them in the same way So I've sliced all the lady fingers or bindi. Now I'm going to transfer these in a bowl because we have to coat them. Okay, so we'll start with spices. I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt because this is very less as I'm making it for myself only. Uh, you can increase or decrease the spices uh, according to the amount of bindi. So I've added half teaspoon of chili powder quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and I'm going to add half teaspoon of chaat masala. Now to this I'm going to add gram flour that's basin, two tablespoons and rice flour that's chawal kata one tablespoon i'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice in it add one tablespoon of oil little bit of kasuri methi that's dried fenugreek leaves <coughs> now coat all these spices and dry flour and everything on the bindi now you can see that it's coated but still a lot of uh, the mixture is at the bottom so what i'm gonna do is just take a little bit of water just a splash of water not too much we don't want to make a paste we just want to coat the bindis just coat it and that's about it so this is coated now I'm going to show you how you can bake them or air fry them and get the same result basically as you deep fry them but they are way more healthier I've taken a baking tray here with the baking paper on it now we'll just place all the lady fingers or bindi on them and you see the spice mixture in the bowl you can just stick it on the bindis with your fingers we are not going to brush any oil we will just place them like this you can uh, bake them in your uh, normal oven uh, you can pan fry them you can make them in your air fryer i'm going to bake them in halogen oven so basically you can do it in anything whatever you have at home but just make them uh, healthier than the deep fried ones. So I've put all the lady fingers on the baking tray. Now I'm gonna turn the halogen oven on. I haven't uh, preheated the oven. I don't think we need to preheat the oven because uh, Lady fingers, they cook very, very fast, uh, so there's no need basically. Now, uh, we are going to cook these uh, at 200 degree for 10 minutes first, and then I will see uh, if they are done in 10 minutes or not, otherwise, I'll cook a little bit more. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes, and the bhindi looks like this. So, they're not cooked yet, I mean, they're not perfectly crispy. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to cook them for 10 more minutes and we'll see how they look after 10 more minutes. Put the bindis on for 10 more minutes and I'm going to increase the temperature to 250 because now 
I think they have they are cooked now I want them to become crispy so first we uh, air fried or bake them at 200 degree for 10 minutes now we are baking them or air frying them at 250 degree for 10 minutes now we can just flip them they're already quite uh, crispy on this side so just flip them so they can get crispy on the other side as well and I'm gonna bake them for five more minutes on this side because they're nearly ready we just need to uh, crisp them up a bit that's all so the bindi is ready and I just want to show you how light crispy and crunchy these are you can hear the crunch in them and they're so good and I've made all these in just, just one tablespoon of oil so if you don't want to eat deep fried uh, kurkuri bindi you can just air fry them or bake them and still enjoy them I hope you like the video um, make sure to give this recipe a try let me know in the comments and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you for watching